Hey guys, so it is now a Monday. I'm a horrible blogger. I told myself I was going to be vlogging all day today and it's already 3.06 and I'm just not picking up the camera. Sorry about this horrible angle. Do I have a double chin? Looks like I have a double chin, but whatever. But anyways guys, yeah, so all day today I've been busy. I dropped Ryan off of school and picked him up. I brought Madison to therapy and then I had a lot of phone calls to make today. So guys, like everything is going wrong. Anything and everything that can go wrong is going wrong. So for one, I got a root canal done and there's like a permanent cap that was on my tooth and that fell off. So much for being permanent. So that came off my tooth and this isn't the first time it happened. I got another root canal done before at the same dentist and the same thing happened where the cap came off like a few months after I got the procedure done. So now I have to go to the dentist tomorrow at the crack of dawn really early in the morning. I have to get the cap put back on and then after that I'm just going to leave that dentist and go to a new one. But yeah, that happened. And on top of that, guess what guys? My dryer broke. So now my dryer isn't working and I had just finished washing clothes and I had to hang up on my clothes to dry which takes forever. So I have a broken dryer, which we were going to buy a new washer and dryer in three months when we moved anyways, but we didn't plan on buying it for another three months. So it's another investment that we're going to have to do and a red dryer. I don't know. Um, so yeah, now we have to buy a new dryer. And then on top of that, Madison just learned how to crawl out of her crib. Although she's three years old, she's still in a crib because she is on the spectrum and she cannot be trusted alone. So to be safe, we keep her in the crib and the crib is still pretty big. She, her legs aren't long enough to touch like the end. So she still fits in it really good, but she just learned how to crawl out of it, which is dangerous. So that was another thing that we were going to wait to buy her, her big, big girl bed when we moved in three months, both the kids were going to get new furniture sets. But now I'm thinking we're gonna have to buy her a new bed set now because I'm nervous about her climbing in and out of her crib, like her falling and getting hurt. So I would think it would be safer just getting her big girl bed. But I'm also nervous about that too because I'm gonna have to pull a lot of things out of her room, like the dresser and just stuff that she can get into. So just have a bed and like her toys in her room. But I don't know. Um, if any of you guys have kids who are special needs, if you guys have any suggestions on how you transitioned your child from a crib to a big girl or big boy bed, please comment down below and let me know. Or even if you don't have a child on special needs, maybe you know someone who does or you just have some great ideas of your own, comment down below. I, I need help. I was just going to try to find a kid's bed that's just extremely, extremely low to the floor. So where if she were to fall out or try to jump on her bed, you know, it wouldn't be that bad. But I don't know. But yeah, that's how my day is going. Uh, also, I had a lot of phone calls to make. Obviously, I had to call the dentist to make an appointment. And then I also had to call the hospital. Um, Madison goes to doctors a lot. She has a lot of GI issues and stuff. And she gets a lot of x-rays and stuff done. She has to go to GI doctor a lot. And she had to go to the children's hospital out in Atlanta. And she's been there like three or four times. And we keep on receiving bills from them and we shouldn't be receiving bills because she has insurance through my husband's job, but then she also gets Katie Beckett, since she's autistic, she gets help from the state. So whatever my husband's insurance does not cover, the state will cover. So we shouldn't be getting medical bills from the hospital, but we received like three or four already. So I was on the phone for about an hour with them and they finally got it solved and now we don't owe, we was saying we owed almost a thousand dollars, so. Thankfully, I was able to get that fixed. And then also, I'm trying to find her another GI doctor because they want her to get a surgery and I don't want her to get surgery. Um, she would have to be put under anesthesia for, they said, about 45 minutes to an hour. And I think it's scary being put under whether you're an adult or a kid. And my daughter's three and a half and I don't want her to be put under. Yeah. And my daughter's three and a half. I don't want her to be put under. And I get, I'm trying not to cry, but I get emotional like thinking about it. Like I don't want her to get surgery. So I'm trying to get as many different suggestions from different doctors because they think that she might have Hirschsprung's disease, which is why she's not being able to poop on her own, TMI, but 
reason why she's not being, being able to poop on her own. She's having so many constipation issues, which what I was told also that a lot of GI issues run in autistic kids. It's common, um, but hers is just like really severe. So the only way to take that test and see if she has that disease, um, the Hirschsprung's disease is doing the surgery because she's too small. They have to get like a tissue sample from her, basically her butt, but since she's still so small and obviously she would not keep still for them to get a sample from her butt, they had to put her to sleep and do that. And they also, guys, crazy, they want to put Botox in her butt. They said they do Botox that it'll help her because I guess whenever she has to, whenever she has to use the restroom, she knows it's painful, so she holds it, and by doing the Botox, it'll help with tightening it up where she can't clench and she'll have to relieve it, whatever, but that was another thing, they want to do it. Um, so yeah, I found two doctors that I wanted to try and get more opinions from. I found another GI, children's GI doctor, and then I found a natural doctor, which is actually my friend's natural doctor. Um, she sees one of those naturopath doctors, and I've never seen a naturopath doctor and I was thinking about trying with Madison with that and just just getting you know her suggestion also and the only bad thing is they don't take insurance at all so I would have to pay out of pocket but I don't mind so I called to make the appointment for her at the naturopath doctor and then also the new GI doctor so yep that has been my day so far sorry guys if I'm boring you guys with all of my problems I probably shouldn't even be on this rant sorry but anyways guys I just pulled up to Dollar Tree I need to pick up a few things from here for a craft and a DIY and then I want to get small Ziploc bags for Ryan's lunch. They have like little um, Disney character ones, so I want to get him more of those. Then I have to go to Walmart, which is across the street, because I'm making chicken noodle soup tonight, and we need a few more ingredients, so I will run to Walmart for that. So I'll see you guys in a little. Hey guys, so we just got home, and it is already 5.03. I spent forever with Dollar Tree and Walmart, but we just got home, and look, I got another package. This package, I know what it is. On Black Friday, I ordered a few things from Ulta. So, it said I wasn't supposed to get it until Wednesday, but when I came home, it was on my doorstep. So, I thought I would do a, a little unboxing of what I bought from Ulta, or a little haul what I bought from Ulta. I didn't buy much, I only bought like, four things I think I took advantage of the sale and honestly I think like half of this stuff is actually drugstore stuff but they were having like half off and 70% off like drugstore stuff so I decided to take advantage so let's see so I'll show you inside those are all of my goodies and actually one of the things in here is a gift for my sister but First thing I got was the L'Oreal Voluminous Curved Mascara. I love L'Oreal Mascara. I think it's my favorite drugstore mascara. So I got this, and then I got this Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser. I've been using this for years, and I love it. I stopped using it for a while, so I'm back on the bandwagon of using this. And oops, these are in bags. I bought two hair products. I've never tried these hair products before. But they were each really expensive originally. I believe they were both around $30 or $40 original price. But I think it was like 70% off. So I got it for a really good price. So the first thing is by Matrix. And it is a miracle creator. It says 20 benefits. Stay multitasking treatment. So let's see how that works. I actually have to wash my hair. It's so greasy right now. Don't mind it. But I actually have to wash my hair tonight. So I'm excited to try this out. And then the other hair product that I bought that I believe also was around $30 or $40 with 70% off is this. It's also by Matrix. It is called Oil Wonders. It's Volume Rose. It's a finishing spray. And I have a hard time finding like sprays or hairsprays to put in my hair anytime like I curl it, like the big curls. I obviously don't want it to be crunchy, but I want it to hold like bouncy. So I thought I would try this out. I read the reviews. The reviews were really good. It said it smelled good and it's like a finishing spray to hold your hair in place. So we'll see how that works. I actually want to smell it. Is that weird? I wonder if it smells like rose because it's called volume rose. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my God, you guys, that smells amazing. Oh my God, I cannot wait to use this. Oh, I'm hoping this works good because it smells like heaven in a bottle. 
honestly if i really like it if it works really well i will pay 30 dollars because this is a huge bottle how many ounces it's 10.2 ounces and it smells so good so fingers crossed it works if it does i will definitely buy that again and then the last two things i bought are lip products one is by Lime Crime, and it is their Velvet Teens. What color did I get? I got it in color Cupid. I like the packaging, it's cute. This one is like, I think a liquid lipstick that I bought. This one I bought for myself. Ooh, I really like the packaging. I've never bought anything from Lime Crime. So that's how the packaging looks like. Really pretty. And let's swatch this for you guys. I like the color. It's a really pretty like, rosy like pink color that's how it looks so excited to try this out i think this would be a really really pretty like spring and summer color and then the last item i bought i'm not gonna open or swatch it because it is a gift i bought it for my sister for one of her christmas gifts she didn't ask for this for christmas but she loves makeup just as much as i do so i got her this it is by urban decay it is called vice lipstick and i got her it in super web so it's like a really dark deep red almost burgundy it's like a burgundy red color so it's a perfect like holiday color and I originally wanted to get her a different color but they were all out of stock and this was the second one that I really really liked and I honestly should have grabbed myself one too but it's okay I have enough makeup but yeah I bought that and that one is for my sister and that is all I bought from Ulta so I'm super excited to try this out it smells amazing actually let me smell this hopefully this smells good too Just smells like a typical hair product not too bad kind of smells like coconut i like coconut so i'm gonna try both of these out wash my hair and i will try them out tonight or tomorrow i'll let you guys know how i like it what's the matter honey are you hungry for dinner yeah i gotta i gotta eat dinner say hi to everyone don't be cranky say hi say hi yeah in a second hold on oops sorry you ready for dinner you guys can see my crock pot in the back. I'm making I'm chicken noodle soup for dinner. So yeah. the only thing is, it's not going to be done for like another hour or so. I can't I'll see I'll you guys friends. a snack until dinner. You can't see friends? Oh, guys, another thing. You know how some YouTubers, like bigger YouTubers, they have little nicknames for their subscribers? I know some people like it, some people don't. I think it's cute. I think but it's cute too. I was thinking about maybe calling, instead of calling you guys, you guys, guys all the time, I'm always like, hey, guys. Since Ryan, Ryan's so cute. Since Ryan always calls you guys friends, every time, every time he talks to you guys, he always says, "Hey friends," or "Can I show friends something?" I think it's really cute. Yeah, hold on. Since he always says friends, I was thinking maybe I will call you guys friends instead of saying guys. I don't know. Comment down below if you like the idea of me calling you guys friends instead of always saying guys. I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments. But anyways. I am going to give the kids a bath and then we're just going to relax for the rest of the day.